We're here with Chuck Peterson, the chair of the Festival Film and Video Competition. How's it going so far this year, Chuck? Oh, it's really been a great year. Um, people have been saying it's one of the best um, projection we've ever had. Um, we had a couple of um, donors, whoops, there goes the umbrella, <laughs> Star Theaters and uh, um, uh, City Animation kind of came together and, and Postworks, there's three local um, professional companies that came together to really um, beef up the projection this year and so it's a nice bright picture, it's cool and air conditioned which has been a really great thing and the videos themselves have been, are great this year and um, there's four hours worth of program that that anybody can come and see all during festival. Where is it showing and when? It's on the second floor of the Art Museum, and it's just for as long as the festival is open. Today's the last day of festival, of course, so it closes at 5 o'clock. And if you still want to vote for a People's Choice Award, um, 2 o'clock is the last opportunity to do so. At 2 o'clock, the ballots stop, and we're going to count them up, and then somebody's going to get an extra $150 prize because the people who went to festival thought it was the best one that they saw. I understand most of the films are pretty short, so you can walk in any time and just pick it up and it just loops in a continuous play, right? Pretty much. The longest film is 30 minutes, and most of them are under 10, and there's a bunch in the 10 to 20 range. So, I understand the uh, awards competition Friday night went over pretty well. Yeah, it's a new thing we're doing for festival. Instead of it, it used to be that we'd hand out the checks over here on Calder stage, and that was nice, but you know, most it was on Friday, and most people hadn't seen the films, and it was sort of out of context, and, and uh, it's going to be the kind of thing that not many filmmakers even showed up for it. So this year, we decided to do an event on Friday night at 7 p.m., and the event involved having all the filmmakers present and showing clips, and you know, getting cheers in front of all the you know, their peers and friends and uh, family and stuff like that. And we had a packed house and a great time. It only took 45 minutes, so it was sh short and sweet. And it seems like it's going to probably be a legacy. I think we're going to continue doing it that way. Yeah, I understand you also had a lot more prizes and awards this year. Yeah, as a um, festival provides a whole bunch of money, like um, $750 worth that we can give away. And uh, we decided we wanted to beef that up a little bit. So we went out again in the community and, um, you know, Trillion Post Production, Kingdom Production, uh, Cruise Communications, and others, um, Goodrich Theaters, donated money and prizes for the filmmakers. So we were able to give away a lot more money this year. It's called the Film and Video Competition. Uh, I know these days most things are shot on video. Is there anything on film over there? Well, it's come to the point where it is kind of hard to, to project both. And so what we did is we transferred everything to digital DVD, digital video disc, and everything was submitted on video. But there are several films that were shot on film. I would say probably five or six films that were transferred to video and then transferred to DVD. And that tends to be a common thing because there just isn't a real venue for showing film these days. There are there's few. I mean, UICA is doing it. and. Um, there are a few opportunities, but they're rare, and video is so pervasive that a lot of people, even if they're shooting on film, are distributing on video. All right. Um, anything else you want to tell people about the show? Well, I just want to say people should come on down. It's, uh, it, I think it'll go till about 5 o'clock today at the second floor of the Art Museum, so there's still time to come down, check them out, and if you're out in this intense heat, it's a good place to just cool your heels for a little while, watch the videos, and don't forget to vote for People's Choice Award. All right. Thanks very much, Chuck. So yeah, get on over there to the Grand Rapids Art Museum. You still have till 5 o'clock. It's state-of-the-art video production. I've seen it. It's a $100,000 video projector just showing great stuff. Two different rooms. So this is your, your chance to see some of the best independent uh, film and video work in the Grand Rapids and West Michigan and broader area. So uh, thanks again, Chuck, and we'll send you back to Calder Stage now.